so fire away the pea shooters get right to work these are the repeaters though not the normal ones So our zombies get right to work. With the walnuts, but our repeaters are firing up. And chomp. So that's why I plant the chompers because when the walters come in, they can defend against them. And if I had planted the chompers in the front lines right behind the walnuts as we usually do, they would probably be eating something and then the walters would have beaten them. So I think this placement was right. And the walter goes behind our enemy lines and the chomper gets his meal of the day. So. This is the third guy, 3 down and we still have 2 chompers who are hungry so if we have any more walters they are going into that mouth ok so here comes walter number 4 right ok and there he goes he's done ok so we got some more sun Okay, so similar lineup of zombies, Walters, Coneheads, and the regular zombies. We can sell plants for their value in sun, but damaged plants cannot be sold. But it does not really make any sense to sell any of the plants that we have currently. But we have 425 sun, so let's plant at least 4 spike weeds. You know, just to give additional damage up front we cannot plant it in all the rows but we can definitely plant it in at least 4 and then we can try the other ones later I am sure we will get more sun as the waves go by Okay, that's bad. The w there is a Walter coming in the second lane, and our Chomper is busy. Okay, oh no, we just lost our Torchwood. And another Walter in the fourth lane, but luckily he loses his head before we lose our Torchwood. So we no longer have a torch food in that second lane which means that our damage is halved at least. Okay, So we have under water come in the fourth lane but this time our chomper was free. Okay so the Walter seem to be you know going only in the second and fourth lane but now they also get into the first and third lane so I think we are equal now a big wave coming up and only one of our chompers is free Okay, but we do not have any kind of defense in that second lane. And we have lost our torchwood there as well. Let's hope we don't lose our chomper. Okay, our chomper just finished eating. And he went for another meal.
so our chomper went in for his meal at exactly the right time a uh, moment later and we would have been in trouble so anyways he's still eating i think we'll give him some time to recover we'll replace the destroyed walnut and we'll pl plant the final spike weed there okay we'll give our chomper time to finish off his meal he has deserved it okay let's start continue on slot I probably should have planted the torchwoods a bit more behind you know to give some a chance for our uh, so because I, I I expected to get more sun and plant more repeaters but apparently that's not the case Okay, so we just lost the torchwood in the fourth lane. Okay, luckily the chomper survived. Okay, we lost two torchwoods now, and we are about to lose a bunch of our walnuts. Bad news all along. around Oh no Okay that fourth lane is in trouble let's use a mallet big wave is approaching we don't have any lawn mowers okay so apparently crazy day forgot to give us any lawn mowers too bad Okay, we lost a lot of plants. Okay. We need to do something to fix this now. so we have the bucket heads and the cone heads back okay so walnuts are mandatory maybe we'll just plant another row of walnuts as a second layer of defense so we don't need anything in the second row because we have the torchwood and the chomper still present so we'll keep that as is and we'll go this way I probably need to work on my strategy a bit more for the last time this is the first time I'm playing it Oh 
about to lose a chomper there. Luckily the second line of walnuts is holding up for now. Okay, now the Walter goes right about because we have lost most of our primary walnuts. So things are getting more difficult for us. Oh boy. I think it's time to use another mallet. At least the spike weeds are causing some amount of damage. Okay, a huge wave of zombies approaching, not good. I think we are about to lose this. Okay. Oops. I think nothing can be done now. The f we have lost the last lane. So. Oof. We are about to take a loss now. There's nothing much can, that can be done. Okay, so we get to try again. Let's try again. Let's change things up a bit. change things up a bit okay so crazy Dave comes up we'll take two rows of repeaters this time take the torch foods right here because I don't think we'll be in a position to plant any more repeaters so we'll go with this and we'll pl let's not plant anything right now let's just start it Okay, definitely more damage and since our plants are far away I think I can survive this one it will be interesting to see how the Walters do against this team up Okay, they did not do anything to be honest. Okay, 
a huge wave of zombies approaching okay so so far so good So maybe I will try to plant some more repeaters because if we are able to do as much damage as we are doing it shouldn't be a problem you know to just plant repeaters and just let go of the tall walnuts or anything altogether. Let's do it then. We'll do it this way. So what zombies do we have? We have the same cone heads and the vaulting zombies. So shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so the second and fourth lanes see increased damage as they should with three lanes of repeaters supported by the ever powerful torchwood the other lanes are not doing very shabby either this should be an easy victory there are no bucket heads so Okay, they aren't able to make it very far the zombies being knocked out in the first or second lane so okay uh, this is easy money just sit back and watch zombies being barbecued Okay, the big wave comes in led by the flag zombie he loses the flag and his head uh, so we get sun for it So this was an in-game ad for some Marvel game looks like it. Okay, so we had enough sun only for one more repeater. But it's fine. I think we'll get some more sun in the next round. So let's just get on with it. There are bucket heads this time. But I think our plan should be okay. Okay, so the bucket head lost his bucket 
within the first tile so i think we are pretty strong at least where the where we have three repeaters with where we have two repeaters it may take some more time but i still think we are doing better than what we were doing in the last game okay so a whole volley of only bucket heads and vaulting zombies so it's a bit tricky this flag but i think we should survive okay whole lot of bucket heads whole lot of them get some more sun okay so it's just the regulars again bucket heads and as well as the cone heads vaulting zombies and the regular zombies so now we have three lanes full of repeaters powered up by the torch for so let's get right on to it oh boy this is a massacre it's just a random slaughter of zombies uh, second death for the zombies they aren't going to survive this one nope Just fireball after fireball just going through knocking out everything in its path. Oh man. So a big wave is approaching but they aren't going to do anything against what we have stored for them that big wave ended quickly <laughs> okay so we defended four flags The fifth flag is coming up. Okay, this time we have football zombies. So it's going to be a little more tricky. Okay. Um... Let's try to put in a some walnuts this time because the football zombie can be a bit tricky and when the time comes for it we'll put in a few of these potato mines for good measure but I don't think it will be necessary
the second lane is empty uh, the others are not there are quite a lot of zombies coming up but we have enough defense okay that football zombie as we suspected is going to be a tricky customer but he does not do anything because by the time he reaches he is dead so whoa but he is definitely tough he is tougher than the others he is the only one who is managing to you know run in and get through a few lanes okay final wave vaulting zombies bucket heads cone heads no football zombies though surprisingly none their biggest customer is not in the final wave i think this that brings us to the end of last hand day because we get the trophy and a diamond so last hand day is done we we'll go in for last hand night Okay. So last and night. So let's see what last and night holds for us. So, oh, graves, graves, not good. Not good at all. Okay, this time we have pumpkins instead of walnuts. Free shroom, the doom shroom, the hip mushroom. But I think primarily we will have to go with the fume shrooms. Okay, some scary shrooms will not be that bad but whoa lots of graves i cannot don't think we should spend too much on the grave busters at least right now okay Just plant a few fume shrooms and put pumpkins on that particular row. Should we turn these guys into bloom shrooms? Yeah, let's do that because they can attack in all directions so. In the front lines, they are quite useful. Oh, 
Okay, now let's get rid of some graves. Hopefully the amount of plants that we have will be enough to withstand the first wave. Okay, the fume shrooms get on task here. Yeah, and the gloom shrooms of course with devastating attack they have shorter range but are very powerful against nearby zombies thanks to their multiple attack okay the scary shrooms are not very damaging but they ca cause enough initial damage to you know at least hurt the zombies a bit and so by the time they make it till the gloom shrooms they are almost half done so that is why the scary shrooms are useful because they are the only long range attacker we have right now We can of course use the doom shroom to set all the zombies out but since we have limited sun it's not that useful. The fume shroom also does a good amount of damage to the screen door zombies which the scary shroom cannot do. Scary shrooms are hardly making a dent in the screen doors. It's the fume shroom which is causing all the damage. Okay, so down with the screen doors. Okay. The gloom shroom is a very powerful plant if used properly. The only thing that is a problem with it is its extremely short range. But other than that, it's very strong on its own. Okay, so zombies come out of the graves. That is why it is important to get rid of those graves but we really could not afford to use that amount of sun just on bursting graves. Okay, so lucky there are fumes from survived there. Okay, so one zombie near dead zombie is still there there. Uh, so we'll just finish off the rest of the graves. Okay, so no more graves, which means there will be no zombies coming out of there so this is good 
and what zombies do we have okay it's the same setup like last time let's just get on with it ah but new graves cropped up ah Okay, so the bucket head is getting dangerously close. Unfortunately, it takes quite a bite out of our gloom rooms. I was hoping to, you know, make another. Uh, I was hoping to make another line of them by selling these off. But now that that pumpkin is damaged, I'm not sure what it will sell for. Realistically. Anyways, let's see what we can get. I think we should still be able to uh, sell a few of the gloom shrooms. It's just the pumpkins that will be a problem to sell. I wonder why it took so much time to destroy that one, particular one. The bucket heads are more resilient, looks like it, to the attacks. And the scary shrooms are not that effective anymore. I think we'll have to get rid of them and just plant fume shrooms. You know, their short range is weak but it is powerful against all the zombies so we could do that let's see how much sun we do get next level zombies come out with the big wave that's a whole lot of zombies Ooh. so far we have managed to you know, stop this hole now we need to check how it will be in the next level I think this level is ours for the taking Let's get rid of the graves first and foremost. Uh, nothing much we can do with this amount of sun. Um, 
let's just keep it as it is we'll think about something in the next wave okay maybe we could get rid of that one gravestone with the 75 sun we do have left the skadish rooms are not as effective anymore especially against the bucket heads Hopefully the pumpkins withstand the attack. Pumpkins are almost as strong as the walnuts. So, you know, they're not as strong as the tall nuts. So, hopefully they can, you know, last the next two waves. It's only the bucket heads work really causing any kind of trouble. The rest of the zombies are not lasting long enough to do any kind of damage. If we do manage to get any football zombies coming in, that is going to be a serious problem though. They are as fast as the vaulting zombies and as strong as the bucket heads so it will be a real problem if they do get into this game. Walters make it there, but they don't survive two fumes rooms attacking them along with the gloom room. Uh, the scary rooms are not making any kind of impact at all. Maybe it's time to. I should. I think I'll get rid of them the next wave. I'll leave the gravestone standing and just get rid of the scary shrooms and plant fume shrooms instead. Zombies rise from the graveyard, but they are not, you know, as difficult as they would usually be. So, okay, but the wave looks quite huge. There are a large number of zombies walking in there. Okay, the football zombies are here so the scary shrooms are going to cut it now we need to add the additional fume shrooms if you want to make any kind of impact uh, 
Uh, we'll just keep the 50 sun as is, maybe for the next wave. Okay, football zombie right off the bat. He charges in, hoping to tackle some of our plants. Luckily, we don't get any new graves. Oh boy, very powerful. Gonna be difficult to stop this guy if you see more of them. He that was the most damage we have had since we started this game. Courtesy of the football zombie. And this is where the Scary Shroom was a bit effective where, you know, especially with the vaulting zombie where we could damage him before he got into our system. Right now there is a chance we could lose a few fume shrooms courtesy of the vaulting zombie. Hope it does not come down to it, but... So far, our fume shrooms have survived, but it's going to be a Herculean task to keep them safe. Okay, we are about to lose that first pumpkin because it looks heavily damaged thanks to multiple football zombies attacking it Oh boy. So Okay, so our pumpkins are taking a massive hit courtesy of the football zombies. Hopefully we can last this wave. A big wave coming. Oh, the first pumpkin looks to be in trouble. Okay, thankfully there's no more football zombies in that first lane. Okay, we did lose a fume shroom there. So we'll have to replant it. 